What's up guys, Winter Kills, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Skull of the First Sin. We're going to go ahead and continue this Let's Play walkthrough, whatever. And uh, in this episode, hopefully we should be fighting the Lost Sinner. Now in the last episode, basically we finished off the last Bastille. Or the Lost Bastille, my bad. And Sinner's Rise, we finally got here. So, set up a lot of things, got these, got these nice lighting fixtures all lit. And uh, we're going to get ready to finish off this place and hopefully get through the last center. Or lost center. Last, lost, last, lost. So many, so many things in this game with the name Lost in it. It's a little bit confusing. Take that man down right there. I see you just tried to bamboozle me. Let's see what they're doing. Still make this place a clusterfuck. No worries. I guess he's coming along for a ride with us. Oh, no, see ya. See you later. See you later. Oh, we gotta get these lacerating knives. And here's Luke Teal's summon sign again. We will be summoning her for this fight. Again, continuing on with the quest line. Light it up. We'll send this back up just in case. And I do believe there were some changes made to this area in particular. Now, as many of you know, um... There was those big, creepy-looking, disease-looking big sea monsters down here. Uh, basically, the Titanite demons of this game, uh, but they got rid of those, and they put something even better in. And uh, we didn't, you guys didn't get to watch me see the fight the Flexile Sentry, because uh, the footage got lost for some reason. But you'll get to see uh, me fight him one more time, because that's what they put down here. Frickin' flexile sentry. I mean, I do think it's cool that they make bosses common enemies, but come on. And you, sir, I don't believe you'll be able to fit inside this door. Ah, I see. He doesn't want to make himself get cheese. He's very smart. It's hard to fight him down here in the water. He does look cool though down here. Looks like he belongs down here. Keep all the undead in check. Ow, how did that hit me? Go on, run away, run away. While I heal up. Not easy to fight when you're really slow like this. We get our damage and get out. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, eat my spike clubs. <laughs> You miss me there, asshole. Shuriken. Oh, backing off, backing off a little bit, backing off. Are you gonna try and get me? Huh? Sir, I don't think you can fit through there. Excuse me, sir. I don't. I don't think you. I don't think you can fit. I don't. I don't think you can fit through here. GG. What a scrub. Anyways, we'll go back to what we were doing. <laughs> that Blossom Kite Shield. Now this is something that my brother showed me that is really, really cool about this area. And I want to show you guys. So basically there's an illusory wall here now. 
and this is where it goes. That's right. It goes right out into the sea. So basically where that phantom right there standing is basically all the room you got to walk uh, outward wise, but this is really, really cool how they did that. You're basically right on the edge of this nothingness. It's so cool. I see you, I see you. You got another one down here? I hear them chatter in their teeth. They're speaking to me. Hey, buddy. Another hate night chilling in here. Why are, why are there so many of you? Hmm? Why are there so many of you? Oh god. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Ooh, that was a close call. Hide spear, yay! Psych. Swoop in real quick. Don't give up, skeleton. Pointless. Cell sword luet. I don't know if this is a real NPC or not, but it looks legit. Pointless. Hurrah for Phantom. Okay. So it looks like we have two NPCs for Sinner. We have that Cell Sword dude. Ow! Yeah, those guys. Or no joke. They f fucking hit like a truck. I really don't want to get killed by one of them. They freaking come out of nowhere too. They're hiding. Hiding in the depths. The deep blue. Gotta watch your back. <laughs> you don't want to get body flopped. Like that. So basically, before they go ahead and jump in and kill you again, you basically have to be like really quick and uh, hope they don't, you know, flop on you a second time. Now, in case we need to speed run this area again to get through here, if we die, we'll open up this little side passage. We'll go summon in Lucatil. We're not going to summon in the other Phantom, though, because we don't want to give this boss any more health than it already has. Alright, come on, let's go. Got two Estus flasks for this. Let's hope it's enough. Alright, she didn't kill herself like an idiot. Perfect. We're gonna light up the room because we do have the Bastille key now. For those of you that didn't know, this is what the Bastille key is for. You can light up the center's boss fight room. 
and it does slow him down a little bit. For those of you who have trouble with this boss, like I do, <laughs> there is a very dirty uh, cheese method, though, to beating him, which I had to do one time. Because for whatever reason, I could just not beat him. And that basically involves the red eye ring and loopy teal. And I'll explain that later. <laughs> Alright, and we're going to go enjoy this sweet, sweet boss cutscene. Okay, damage, okay. Do you need Luke Teal to survive, though? So we can't let her Dougie on it. And yes, the center is a girl, for those of you who didn't know. truckload of damage. And she's not even doing that much to us. <laughs> oh, now you're gonna be a little dodgy bitch the last couple fights. Ow! Alright. GG last center. Lost center. Whatever. <laughs> Same thing. Nothing that a good old strength build can't uh, take care of. <laughs> I think we're gonna grab another fragment branch in this chest, if I'm not mistaken. And we'll light that primal bonfire. And we're gonna head right up to Majul again. And right here we would be getting an achievement. But my brother's already done a playthrough this on my account, so he's already gotten it. <laughs> That's why we're not getting it. Right on time. Now we got plenty of souls to level up with. You have a that is more. That is more than most undead can say. We could almost go, should we do it guys, go all the way to 39 strength? We'll put, a, we'll put one in Vigor and Endurance, just, just to be safe. Spending all the souls. And we'll get a couple more life gems. Seven will do. Alrighty, now that we beat that, uh, where can we go from here? So we can go to Belfry Luna. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll go to Belfry Luna this episode. Yee, Belfry Luna, fight those gargoyles. That'll probably have to be in the next episode, though. Because we're coming up on the 15-minute mark here. Alright, guys, look at it. 
Before we go any further, take your eyes and look just underneath my stamina bar there, the green one. Past the little three red arrows, there's that status effect there. I have no idea what that is. It comes and goes in random areas. Like, we were just in Majula and I didn't have it. But, like, and my brother was running into the same problem. It was not really a problem, but, like, the same thing. Like, you'll have it in, like, certain rooms. So, like, maybe if I walk out here. Well, no, I still have it, but, like, he would walk into, like, a one room, and then he'd have it, and then into another room, and then he would. See that now it's gone. It's gone, and then as soon as I enter in here, it's back. I don't know, it's kind of weird. If you guys know what that is, go ahead and let me know in the comments. So we're going to run into another pursuer down here. I believe this is the third freaking one. They love them, those pursuers. Whoa! Gives no fucks about running into that. It's like, surprise, motherfucker. Ow. Heal! Yeah, there's way too many pursuers in this game now. Because <laughs> there's like three here, there's the original one, and then there's two in the king's castle. Like, there's a lot of them. Though the lore behind them is cool, they were sent out to like, corral the undead, and I guess that's what he's trying to do. Alright. Drop us some more Twinkling Titanite. Large club. So yeah, as you can see, they got rid of the dog that was down here trolling everyone and put one of those in there, because they thought it would be funny. <laughs> Priest Chime. Use that Pharos Lockstone. And we're in Belfry Island. Ask if we want to join his covenant. Useless fool. Be gone, we're going to get the achievement for that, I guess. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're going to wrap it up here before we go any further. So, in the next episode, we should be fighting. I guess we're going to do a little bit of PvP before we wrap this up. Come on now. Ooh, you're a speedy man, you're speedy. Backstab. Sir, is why you do not mess with the mace. 
All right, as I was saying, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're going to tighten that chunk for that. Uh, do whatever you got to do to share your support. As always, we'll see you next.